John, who's in there? Carter Hart. Uh, other than Zach being out, any other line of changes than Keeper coming in? Keeper's coming in. Uh, Allie's out, so Bronner will come in. Okay. You guys saw Winnipeg, obviously, last Sunday. Does that kind of play into the mindset tonight that you guys know a team playing only six days apart? We don't worry about – we just worry about ourselves, just trying to be the best we can be at our game. You guys mentioned – you mentioned after the game in Minnesota that it was a battle of two willing teams. Is that kind of the similar mindset tonight? Winnipeg's on a two-game losing streak. You guys are on a three-game losing streak. See, I don't look at us as on a three-game losing streak. I, I look at us – we've got points at two out of our three. Uh, and I was happy with the points. So we, we want to – trying like hell to get that second point in the overtime have struggled uh, but I don't look at it as a losing streak I look at it as our team's playing pretty good hockey you talked about that getting those two points was beneficial how important is tonight to get a good high note going into the yeah break? you want to you want to it, 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 it these games always worry me I think every coach in the league when you're getting close to the break always worry about the last game uh, are they looking ahead uh, we've had a long schedule here this month a lot of travel a lot of hockey games uh, I just hope our guys uh, get about their business and play as hard as possible. You guys played most of the majority of that game in Minnesota with 10 forwards. Now you guys are down playing 11 and 7 tonight. Do you feel like any fatigue might set in with guys nah, playing too much? No, nah, no. I, I think, quite honestly, it'll help some guys. Uh, some guys will get a little bit more ice time. Uh, it Lines may change as the game goes on just with the, uh, the 11 forwards. But, no, I, our guys have handled everything that's been thrown at them. Uh, again, Tonight, for me, it's not a lot about uh, X's and O's. It's about the effort uh, and, and just trying to find a way to uh, play as hard as you can before we leave for a few days. Travis Connect is one of those guys that's kind of struggling right now. You've seen his offensive game be at the highs. He's scoreless in eight straight right now. Do you feel any sense of frustration growing in his game that's kind of hurting him a little bit? Well, TK's always frustrated with himself. That's just the way he's built. He wants to be the best he can be. Uh, if things don't go right on the shift, uh, he's a very emotional guy, and I think that's why he's one of the better players in the league. Uh, he has that, I guess, gene. Uh, he just can't, uh, he can't let it go across the line where it affects a lot of things. And um, He's had some chances. You know, he has a chance to win the game the other night. You know, that's two games in a row. We lose in overtime. We have two great chances in both games. We don't score. They come down and score. He's getting his chances. He's got to continue to work at the other part of his game. His game will come back.